Hello and welcome back. This is Matt Malarkey, Director of the DBA Program here at the Mooma College of Business at the University of South Florida. I'm going to be covering the seventh and final segment in our series on the DBA Program, and this segment will cover the application process. The five-part admissions process to the DBA Program begins very simply with either an email or a phone call to me, the Program Director. Our email address is muma-dba at usf.edu, and my personal email address is mmalarkey at usf.edu. You can also find this information on our website and uh, have my contact information there as well. The second step in the process is to meet with the program director, and I like to do that either with a phone call or in person. kind of depends on the logistics and the ability for us to get together. You'll be able to check the website for events. And once we've had an informal conversation on the program and you've decided that your interest is high, I will recommend and, and you should consider a weekend visit with our existing cohorts uh, during one of their residence sessions. Um, it's a great opportunity for you to meet with members of the current cohort, see peers in the program, and get a flavor for the way we conduct uh, the weekend residency sessions. The third step in the program, assuming continued interest, would be for you to fill out the preliminary application. And the preliminary application really has four parts. It has your statement of purpose, which we talked about in an earlier segment, but which really basically is your way of communicating to us in a couple of pages, your particular interest in the program and your particular interest in a problem or area of research that you are considering uh, for the conduct of the program. The second piece would be a current resume or a CV. And the third piece would be your transcripts. Um, and at this stage in the process for the preliminary application, I'll accept uh, informal transcripts, which would be copies of your undergraduate and graduate degrees. And the fourth piece will be the actual PDF uh, application form completed by you. Um, and that is available online in our DBA website. The fourth step in our process with a completed preliminary application in hand will be for me to schedule with you an interview. And in the interview, you'll meet with members of our faculty, particularly members of our DBA committee, so that you'll get a cross-functional look at who we are and what we're interested in. And it gives us an opportunity as a faculty to understand your interest in our program and in the research that you'll be looking to pursue. Coming out of that scheduled formal interview will be an opportunity for us to notify you of acceptance in the program. And upon acceptance in the program, you'll complete your USF graduation, graduate school application, which will be due by the 15th of October. By the 1st of December, we will look for a payment of your $2,500 orientation fee. And then we'll hold and conduct the orientation in mid-December. By mid-January, your first tuition payment will be due, and the first cohort residence session will begin in the middle of February, as we've indicated in other segments. And that's the conduct of the admission process. So through those five steps, at every point in the process, you'll be able to reach out to me, uh, Grandin, and other members of the DBA team as you have questions that arise and as we can support you through the process, 